Today's video is brought to you by Who Gives a Fuck? Alright, 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 YouTubes. Getting a little early start. Here, let me turn the light on. You probably can't even see me. Yeah, there we go. Um, you hear the waves breaking from my house. I want to go check the, the waves on my way to my job. And then I'm going to go and try and get um, my yearly little sunrise picks that I get over there at the La Baja. Um, and if I get one, I do them every year. It's like this time of the year. And if I get one with the sunset, I will post it up on here for you guys. Let me see if I can get this light to turn off. I'm messing around with the GoPro stuff, but if I time it right, yeah, see the sunset's coming up over there. You can barely see the orange. If I time it right, we'll get over there for the nice little sunrise picks. Let's go. Let's go do the sunrise picks first, and then we'll go check the surf. It's starting to come up. Should look pretty good. A little bit of cloud, a little cloud activity. I think we got time. We could probably. Eh. cliffs and still get the sunrise photo. I think I left myself enough time. But the swell, yeah, the swell is supposed to have picked up and I could hear the waves breaking from my house. So I'm like, yeah, let's get down there and take a look and then we'll get all fired up for compressor change out. And see how that goes. Oh, it's today's Friday, Black Friday. Go get your Christmas shopping on. I'm going to go to work, make a buck. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I don't even know if you can see what's out there. It's so dark and the, the GoPros are action cameras so they do real poor in low light conditions. They are not a camera for low light. They're for like daytime activities, snorkeling, scuba diving, that type of thing. So if you ever buy a GoPro, you gotta remember that they don't do very well in low light. They're made to be an action camera. People forget about that sometimes. That's the Monterey Bay. You can tell the sun's going to start coming up over that. Oh, the swell totally picked up. Look how big that wave is. Right there, right outside my car window. Whoa! So, that's full ground swell. It's get, oh yeah, it'll be breaking in the Mitchell's Cove and everything. Oh yeah. There's the star of my show right up there for my photos. I might have to try and I might have to try and hide the crane. They're gonna rebuild a whole new hotel right here, so let's see what we come up with. We used to park right here on the side, but they got the, the work fence going. I still might. Yeah, I might just I might just park it right here. I might have to climb on top of the van to get photos.
not too shabby. getting here in the morning I could pull this thing out <clears throat> get it I'm gonna change that receptacle to plug now I can get it where I can work on it in the kitchen here because I got here early no one's here I'm ready to rock and roll I always like to seal up the old compressor and braze it off so we don't spill oil. Borrow the customer's cart and load it up. I had to grab my nitrogen, the compressor, whatever else I could think of. Yeah. I don't have a cart because I don't have room on my minivan. That's why I don't have a cart. Always borrow the customers. <laughs> Let's load it up. All right, I got some gear. We can take it back upstairs now. We get two hands on this. Right here putting the unit back in I got it kind of cocked in there and had to fight a little to get it out that was kind of fun down to the van to get my little swedger bit fitting for the drill so I could swedge out the suction line so it'll fit on the compressor.
pressure deviation test started. 119.5. And I'm gonna start to clean up while this is doing that, and then we'll get ready for the vacuum pump. All right, got our plug swapped out, our receptacle swapped out. Just getting it started on the vacuum pump. And we'll let it pull vacuum, and then we'll get it recharged up. See, see how it works. I had back blown the cap tube, it was clear. Now we'll see how we make out. Okay, if you've been watching my videos, you know Felipe sent me a set of the LE Tech gauges. And I think I said I'd try them out a bunch. What it looks like in on a pulling a vacuum, I don't think they show lower than 14.5. Even if I close off all the valves and my pump's cranking, that's the lowest it's gonna show. So we're just sucking right here in through the gauges up to the ports. You can close the ports too. And that's the lowest. That's the lowest these are gonna show while pulling a vacuum. The Testos will show like 28.9. Uh, that's the lowest that these guys will show. And that's about it in a vacuum if you're curious. And uh, if I put my testos on here, it'll read like 20, 28.9. So just, just a heads up on these ones. I don't know if that's, if it's supposed to read lower or if, or if it's just mine. Oh look, I just zeroed it. I could, yeah, we could try that. Let me, um, I could probably pull them off to atmospheric and start over with uh, zeroing them out. Hold on, okay, let me zeroed them out and I got it going. That's it. I have to check the literature. Let me get the scale. This thing holds 13.5 ounces and we'll, we'll weigh the charge in and see how we look. Uh, there it is in the literature. Measuring range. Pressure minus 14.5 to 800 PSI. So when you pull a vacuum on those, that's the lowest reading you're going to see is 14.5 on those LE techs. The testos here, they'll go down into the minus 28.9 mode. <clears throat> I think that's the lowest I've seen these. So it's just a different transducer they're using. That's a heads up. All right, 13. Let's see if we can weigh in 13, uh, 13 and a half ounces. I'm gonna bring it in on the high side. Here we go. About it for static. I'll have to suck in the rest while it's running. All right, all done with that service call. Now we're downtown San Francisco at Chinatown. <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> That's the baddest Honda Civic you'll ever see in your life. 
Look at that thing. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>